How to use Stacks in macOS Mojave to keep your desktop clutter-free. Check it out. This video is sponsored by our friends over at MacPaw, who produce Clean My Mac X, a great way to clean up, protect, and speed up your Mac with just a few clicks. Click the link down below in the description to visit cleanmymac.com for a free download. Special thanks to MacPaw for sponsoring this video. So one of my favorite new features in macOS Mojave is stacks because this is no joke how my desktop tends to look from time to time on my Mac. It's ridiculous, I know. Now the concept of stacks isn't exactly new to macOS. In fact, if you look in your dock, chances are you'll have a stack for the downloads folder and you can have other stacks there as well. But what is new in macOS Mojave is the ability to have stacks on your desktop. And this is a sort of desktop exclusive feature. So if you right click on the desktop, select use stacks, watch what happens. Everything is automatically filtered based on its kind. So for instance, you're gonna have images together, documents together, movies together. The nice thing is though, is that you can actually go in and select to group these items based on other parameters. So right click, select group stacks by, and there you'll see the various ways you can group stacks. So by default, it selects kind, but you can choose any of these others like date last open or date added or date modified or date created or tags. I'm gonna choose date last open and you can see how stacks are grouped now by date last open. Now, personally speaking, I like the default method of grouping by kind, but it's going to be up to you. So we're gonna go back to kind, and now let's talk about the different kinds of stacks available in Mac OS. So you'll see things like documents. You'll also see images. You'll see PDF documents. Actually here in this example, there's only one PDF document, so it doesn't actually create a stack. We'll talk about that a little bit later. You also see movies and you'll see developer, other screenshots, etc. Now, any folders that you have on your desktop are not grouped in stacks. They will appear beneath your list of stacks. Now let's talk about how to open and close stacks. You probably already saw it, but all you do is click on the stack like this and it opens up. You see that little arrow icon denoting that the stack for that particular one is open. So to close that stack, you just click the arrow icon again. So you can do that for all the stacks listed. For instance, screenshots, open that up. You can open multiple stacks at once if you wish to but I like to open and close once I'm done. And it's that simple. But here's what's really cool. You can view the contents of a stack without actually opening the stack. Simply swipe left or right or swipe up and down with your magic mouse. And then you can quickly view the contents of that stack. So just simply scroll through and view each individual file like that. You'll see the name below and a depiction of that file using the little thumbnail preview. Now, the cool thing is, is that once you land on a file, you can do like that. Just open up that single file from that stack without opening the stack. You can also use quick look. So if I find a particular file I want to look at, just select it like that, hit the space bar, and there you go. You can easily preview that file within a stack just like that. Now, what about performing actions on multiple files or actually all the files within a stack? Well, that's possible. Simply right click and now you can perform any of the actions listed here. So for instance, if I want to, I don't know, uh, share those files or quick look those files or rename, I can do that. I can even compress all the files at once. We're gonna try that right now. So just select compress and it creates that zip file just like that. And that zip file is stored in the other stack for easy access. And macOS Mojave includes new finder quick actions and these two can be used on multiple files within a stack. So just right click, select quick actions, find a quick action you wanna use. In this case, I want to create PDF and that will create a PDF from all those images. I can rename it like that if I wish to. And now, because I have two PDF documents, it actually creates a PDF document stack as well, as you can see there. So that's pretty neat. So no longer is that single PDF document lonely there on the desktop. And of course you can see that PDF document in full when you open it up like that. Now you can also use handy keyboard shortcut commands to perform actions as well on multiple files. So you just wanna drag and select that stack that you wanna affect and then command R to rotate, for instance, this stack of images and it rotates all the images in one fell swoop. So we can preview with quick look and see that all those images are upside down. 
Now here's a question, what happens to all the files if you disable stacks on the desktop? Well, let's find out. So all we need to do is simply right click on our desktop and uncheck use stacks. So we'll go down here, uncheck use stacks, and all your files go back to how they were before in their same exact location. Pretty cool. So this has been a hands-on look at Stacks and Mac OS Mojave, but as a reminder, I wanted to thank our friends over at MacPaul, sponsors of this video. Clean My Mac X is a great way to keep your Mac running at optimal performance. And for someone like me who works with video often, it's especially useful for quickly identifying large files and getting rid of those with ease. Click the link down below in the description to visit cleanmymac.com and try it out today. So there's a couple other things I wanted to touch on. You can actually view how many items are in a stack if you right click, select show view options, and then you just click where it says show item info, and then you'll notice below each stack, it now lists the number of items in each one. And then lastly, you can also sort by within each individual stack. So you can sort by date added, you can sort by name, kind, etc. So ladies and gentlemen, that has been a look at Stacks in macOS Mojave. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments section. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.